Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Our topic today is communist tracking food scalar, and if I get to it, bricks. And I've got some real important information right at the very end. If you can stay to me with me to the end. First of all, and this has made me cry. If you want to see me cry, then you go and look at the Sunday morning service. Uh, it's there on the platforms. And uh, Le Leslie, Leslie set this up. As you know, I had a birthday uh, last week. We had a birthday party Saturday. And I might add, uh, she walked in this morning and she says, you got some more, um, what do you call them, birthday cards. She asked people to send in birthday cards. This is just one day's worth. She says that uh, it's up to around 300 birthday cards. So I wanted to say thank you. I, uh, I, I think that I've, I've been totally blessed by what you sent, by what you've said. And I told Leslie that I think I had a self-image change Sunday. And she looked me straight in the eyes and she says, I think you did too. So let me explain. I know this is no secret to you as a watchman. Um, we have to go through a lot of rejection. And I've been doing Bible prophecy 40 years, Prophecy Club 30 years, thousands of meetings. I don't need to list all of them, but uh, the rejection has been unbelievable. And so with all of these birthday cards and all of the well wishes and all of the tears and the hugs and the comments of appreciation, I think it's changed my attitude. I, I think that it has finally got me off of this attitude of no one's listening. Uh, I'm not, I'm just wasting my time, you know. I'm not reaching anybody, so it has shown me that, yes, there are some people, uh, in this case, you know, 300, bir or I keep wanting to say, birthday cards, 300 birthday cards. This is just one day's worth of mail. She says it's somewhere around 300 birthday cards have come in. And then Sunday she had people come up and uh, say a word of encouragement, and that busted me up. So I just wanted to say to all of you, thank you. I think, I think I can put the rejection behind me. And it has shown me that there are people out there that do love me and do appreciate the work that I do. So I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you folks have busted me up. I think you, hopefully you've busted the old hard crusted, you know, to resist rejection, we have to have a hard crust around our heart, I guess is the way I'd say it. And, you know, I did uh, six years door to door sales before I went into business to business sales of 13 years and then th 30 years of Bible prophecy, so I have taken an, an unbelievable amount of rejection. And to keep going in that is, is, is the hand of the Lord, and, and I give him all the credit. There's no way I could have memorized the book of Revelation. There's no way that I could have written four books on Bible prophecy. It, it's all his hand. So I say first, thank you, Lord Jesus, and thank you to all of the people out there that have stood with us and prayed for us and supported us. And I think it finally broke through. So good for that. So I, I, I will say that I, I have felt your love. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let me briefly say, in all of this, it's going to be a very good idea for you to have something to back you up when the electricity goes down and this is a brand new product. They approached me on this, and I, I, I have something similar in my solar system, and I know this is really good. As a matter of fact, <laughs> this is better than what I have. And this, if you want to pause and look at that, that will tell you 
how they compare, and they are apparently beating everybody out there. So go and check it out at uh, griddown.com. Anyway, so let's talk about communists. Now, the article says, Woman who escaped communist China under Mao Zedong reacts to the Trump arrest and sounds alarm about cultural revolution in America. Xi Van Fleet escaped from the communist China, but not before witnessing the horrors of life under Mao Zedong, who was responsible for the death of millions of people, mostly by starvation. When she looks at what the left is doing to Trump, she has a warning for America. She says, this is just what China's cultural revolution looked like. She accuses the left of being Marxists or communists and says that no one is safe. In other words, even the people that now today are against Trump, that's what she's about to say, they will come for you too. You're just aiding them now until they take over. She accuses the left of being communists and says that no one is safe because they will eventually come for everyone. She says, I lived through the most brutal communist regime in China. I witnessed a lot, and now I recount one of the darkest moments I witnessed in the day when the former president of the United States was indicted and mugshot in Georgia prison. I have to say that I think America is quickly becoming a communist country, and our rule of law has been turned into what Marxists call proletarian proletarian dictatorship. I'll say that again proletarian dictatorship. Now, we haven't heard those words, but that's what she's saying they're doing. This is the communist platform, the playbook, and they've been successful in the past with other nations, and they are near successful in America now. The party in power is after its political opposition, and it is not just the president. Now, listen to this part. But people like activists are now in jail, in other words, January 6th, as political prisoners in the free country of the United States. She says, forget about Donald Trump and what is happening in America is that the party in power, listen carefully, the party in power is abusing their power and going after any opposition. Now it is Donald Trump and MAGA, but eventually it is going to be everybody because a communist regime does not tolerate any opposition, any dissenting voice. They're coming after us all. That's just what I said when I read Coverstone's Dream yesterday's program. They're coming first. I mean, you remember that, that old saying, you know, first they came after this group and I was not of that group and so I didn't complain. Then they came after this group and I was not of that group and I didn't say anything so I didn't complain. But finally, they came after me, and there was no one to complain. If we don't complain now, if we don't stand up in our case, what we do is fall down on our knees and we fast and pray, which, by the way, you can do so by joining Fast Gap by going to prophecyclub.com, slide to the bottom. If you want to pray for Prophecy Club, you sign up for Fast Track. If you want to pray for America, you sign up for Fast Track gap and it'll explain to you our fasting and I never send product offers I never ask for donations this is only if you want to fast and pray for either prophecy club or America anyway let's go on she says I really have a word for everybody including the conservatives learn a bit about history and about the cultural revolution because what's happening here is a repeat let me back up and read more more of this again They're coming after us all, including those who are cheering now for Trump's indictment. I'll read that again. They're coming after us all, including those who are cheering now for Trump's indictment and think they are on the winning team. They're not. We will all become victims if we let them succeed. You know, I heard my mom and dad talk about this when I was a child. Their generation was warned about this. My generation only heard echoes. And the generation following my generation, they haven't heard anything. So let me remind you what Dimitri was told. Now, I'm not going to read all of this. I encourage you to pause and read it. I'm just going to read the first two sentences. 
The angels said the fall of America will start with an internal revolution in America started by the communists. I remember when I heard this in 1987, I thought, started by the communists? I mean, I know there are theoretically communists in America, but are there really that many? Well, sad to say, they really are, they worship Moloch and Baal, but one of their other iterations or one of their other groups are the communists. But they're really Moloch and Baal worshipers. Nevertheless, they're coming after especially the Christians and, of course, the Jews. Now let's go on. Cell phone. Your cell phone, I've been saying this, it's not your friend. It is tracking you. Here's more on that. Twelve U.S. states are now using mobile device driver's licenses. In other words, you don't carry a piece of paper. You don't carry a plastic card anymore. It is now on your cell phone that require face scans to prove your identity, and there's more. Major League Baseball launches biometric face scans to identify fans at increasing number of ballparks. In other words, if you want to go to a ball game, you gotta get your face scanned. If you want to have a driver's license, if you have a driver's license in Texas, they scanned your face. If you want to get on an airplane, they scan your face. California Church was fined $1.2 million for defying COVID lockdowns and turned around and sued the government for spying on their worshipers. In other words, they said, you can't go to church. When the worshipers went to church anyway, they were tracked. How did they track them? By their cell phone. The government issues mapping software to track worshipers to see when they were on the church premises. And as long as they could research, any level of government can target and spy on any individual group at any time for any duration they want to. They can wield the collected data against said individuals or groups who oppose their orders. This is not just un-American, it's downright or willing. Now, they can track you when you go to church but they can't seem to track those people that found all of these fraudulent, uh, I probably shouldn't say that word, cheated. (laughs) The cheaters in the election, okay? Anyway, let's go on. Are accused of using geofencing. In other words, that's tracking with your cell phone. A location-based tool used by the government to track individuals through their cell phone data. Your cell phone to them, is a tracking device. Well, I'm not doing anything wrong. No, you're not doing anything wrong now. Remember the guy that killed the, the, the young students up in Utah? You know how they caught him? You know how they proved that he was there? All by a cell phone. So if you're going to go kill somebody, leave your cell phone behind. I mean, I laugh, but I mean, if you don't want to take the mark of the beast, there's going to be a time you can't carry a cell phone, Okay. Australian Intelligence Agency Agency is funding research to merge human brain cells with artificial intelligence. I've been telling you that there's a kind of come a time when no no one can buy or sell, say, if he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name, here's wisdom. Let him have the understanding, count the number of the beast for his number of a man, his number 603 score and six. And the image of the beast is going to require all that, wor- that live on the earth to worship him. This, in my opinion, is the beginning of the image of the beast. Now, this is what they're telling us. But the problem is they probably already have the image of the beast, which is probably a clone, probably part human, that is also merged with AI or the artificial intelligence of a quantum computer. Okay, now let's go on to the next topic. That is bugs or wheat. The Great Reset, a report that reveals globalist climate organization's goal is to ban meat, dairy, private vehicles in 14 U.S. cities by 2030. 14 major American cities are part of a globalist climate organization known as the C40, Cities Cities Climate Leadership Group, which has an ambitious target by the year 2030 of zero meat consumption, zero dairy, only three new clothing items per person per year, zero private vehicles, and you can only take one airline flight once every three years. There's got to be a short one. 
And we've all heard of Oreos. It's America's, I think it's the world's most famous cookie. But these days, the article says, check all food labels. Even products you have bought for years, it is harder to find foods not bioengineered in grocery stores these days than foods full of toxic GMOs. So these days you have to check the ingredients. And you may find that they're not exactly open and honest with the way that they are wording them. So this will give you some ideas. Contains bioengineered food ingredient. A symbol on black and white or color. An electronic or QR code or digital link may tell you that it's actually lab grown. Of course, I'm going to recommend you go to Joseph Kitchen where you want to get a machine package, which is all of the mechanical things to grind the wheat berries into flour, put it in a bread machine, add six ingredients, push a button. Two hours, 20 minutes later, you have a nice hot steaming loaf of whole wheat bread. Then you want to decide how much food you want to get. Feed for one person a year, two people a year, four people a year, or six people a year. Most of the long-term storage places, it's about a about nine to ten thousand dollars to feed one person for a year. At Joseph Kitchen, you can do it for about one thousand dollars, one person, one year. In other words, like ten percent of the cost of a lot of the other long-term emergency storage places. Josephskitchen.com and use the promo code Prophecy. I think it gets you a discount in there someplace. Massive emergency alert tests will sound alarms on U.S. cell phones, TVs, and radios in October. October 4th at exactly 2.20 p.m., and I'm not going to read all of this. We all understand what that could be doing. And this goes in, tells you more of the details. But I want to get to some other things. But here's the question. Why are they doing this? Are they doing this because they want to make sure you're safe? Or are they doing this to make certain that you are in their system? Making certain that they can track you and can reach you anytime they want to. Um, I generally don't think that government is good, just like Ronald Reagan generally said government has gotten not good. As a matter of fact, I heard a line the other day, I thought it was real good, said that... Uh, the purpose of the Constitution is to see that the people rule, not the government. thought that was good. Now let's talk about scalar wave and how it is cutting off our supplies. One person dead, 57 people injured in Romania at a gas station. See, it's not just in America. They're doing this around the world. It's called polycrisis. And you find that there's no cause of the fire. And there's no arrests. It's just that these places get blown up. There's 150 different food places. And here's, this is a chemical leak or a chemical explosion. So here's at a refinery. Here's at a chemical station. We've seen a lot of chicken places and a lot of cattle killed. They're killing off this world, I would say this modern civilization of ours. They're killing it. Now let's go to bricks. This is really the most important part of it. The BRICS is really the quest to replace the dollar. I've told you that there is a new financial system coming. The old financial system based upon the Federal Reserve, based upon the dollar, based upon coins and paper is going away. This is part of it. Now, what they're going to tell you is they're getting away from the dollar because the dollar is issuing sanctions to nations. And of course, that is making them make the decision. I don't think it's that. I think that there are people out there that know that there is a new financial system coming and they're just getting ready to switch over to it. This one particular article says Brazil and China sign agreement to drop U.S. dollar and use the renminbi, I think is the way you say it, and the yuan and the real in bilateral trade. All they're doing is just getting ready for the new digital currency system that we prophecy students have already been looking for. Another brick, or B-R-I-C, in the wall. What Saudi Arabia is joining BRICS really means for the world. This starts January 1, 2024. Now, remember this right here, because I want to show you something with that in just a second. All right. So assuming that this new financial system with the BRICS Assuming that comes in January 1, 2024, and that's 
we don't know that for sure. We know BRICS comes in, but we don't know that the whole changeover to the new financial system takes place in January 1, 2024. But that's a good time. That's a good guess. Now, it says 40%, 42% of the world's population is in this new system. 20% of the world's trade, 32% of the GDP. Wow, that's a lot. They see as an imbalance between the United States and the conduct of the financial system. In other words, they're saying they want to start BRICS and this new financial system because America's being mean to them. That's not it. What it really is, is they're kicking out the bad guys and bringing in a new good system, is what I'm told. And for that, I'd recommend you call CornerstoneAssetMetals.com. They're Christians, prophecy students. They follow Prophecy Club. They love Prophecy Club people to call them because they <laughs> can relate to you. Call them. Ask them. Say, okay, I got this much money. What do you recommend? And see if you like their recommendations. It's official. BRICS now adds Saudi Arabia, Iran, Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, and the United Arab Emirates. And within BRICS is going to be 80% of the global oil. Now you remember, back in 2011, Shane Warren had this vision. TV set turned from a TV set into a vision. And he was shown that there's going to be a fall of the dollar. It's going to be worthless as leaves blowing in the wind. And he said he was shown that what caused it is when they start selling oil in some of the currency other than the dollar. Boom. 80% of the oil, starting January 1, is now not going to be traded in dollars. So it's a pretty good bet. By January 1, you can expect to see our dollar start falling like a rock. And what the prophecies say, it doesn't happen gradually, but all of a sudden, overnight, like on a Friday night, just all of a sudden, boom, it drops 30%, 50%, 66%, and eventually it reaches zero. Let's go on with the article. Cutting right to the chase, it should be stated that the powers that be or we call them Moloch and Ball worshippers, cannot survive this without World War III. If current globalist cabal, that's another way of saying ball or of ball, B-A-A-L, cabal stands back and does nothing as this new commerce alliance comes to life, then on January 1, 2024, they may wake up to find that no one in any of the countries shown above will accept the U.S. dollar or the euro as payment for trade in goods and services anymore. Means... The new quantum financial system, which is a digital system based on your cell phone, is probably, I don't know for sure, but at least part of it we know for sure, is coming online January 1, 2024. They may wake up to find out no one around the world is willing to sell oil in U.S. dollars anymore. And that could demand that we convert our currency to some other currency to buy oil. Now, I've got two other emails, which I've decided not to put on here. But they both say that the dollar, if we want to buy this new currency, is going to be at the exchange rate of $55 to one. I don't believe that. But it could be some derivative thereof. The way the Biden regime has curtailed our own oil and gas production, we would see shortages and price increases like never seen before. We in the United States do not manufacture much of anything anymore because of corporate. Shipped all of our manufacturing overseas. I recall my older brother lost his job at Alcoa because the whole company closed down and moved overseas. And that's not the only company that did that. The reason, they say, is economic sanctions. We know it's not. We know there's actually a whole new financial system coming into play. But it says they got tired of the U.S. imposing sanctions. It's really not about that. Yes, that's pushing them off. Now the BRICS is creating its own gold-backed currency for settlement of international trade debts. The U.S. won't have any clout anymore because it won't be able to sanction petty things anymore. Okay, so yeah, I understand the sanctions has pushed them away. But it's not that. It's that we're coming to a new financial system. So what if the rest of the world decides it's payback time for the U.S.? 
What if they impose economic sanctions on America? Yeah, it could start getting really, really bad. Now, let me show you something. Chris Reed, March 25th of 2022, had a vision, had an angel visit. He saw the angel standing in front of him with a $50 bill, which he thinks represents the dollar of the 50 United States. Now, let me show you something. Since we, now we know that the U.S., the, the BRICS is going to come on January 1, 2024. So let's put 2024 here. We see U.S. dollar drops. Middle Eastern oil strikes deal with China. Perfect storm. Inflation. Right. Okay, so what I've done is I've put this here. Let's say this takes place in 2024. Where does it stop? The next thing is the food crisis out here, okay? Then we see riots, civil unrest, citizen demand entitlement checks. And then he saw an earthquake. So all, could it be that all of this is taking place in 2024? And if it is, could it also be that the Israeli-Palestinian two-state solution is reached? Let's see. I think I looked up. Where was it? When is the counting of the Omer, which is between first fruits and Pentecost? That's normally like in April, April, May, somewhere in there. That would mean if this were to take place next year in 2024, that seems a little soon to me. But then I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm not trying to set a date here. Could it be that even this takes place in 2024? Could that mean that the internal revolution takes place in 2024? Then this is talking about U.S. military takes charge, looms over a new federal government. That sounds like the internal revolution. And then a new dollar bill like a cell phone he saw with George Washington's face on it. I can't see how all of that takes place in 2024. But in a time of emergency, things happen pretty quickly. I want to believe that all of this happens in 2024 and then all of the others, 25, 26, you know, I don't know. That's the question. And please do not say, I set a date. All we know at this point is these things, because January 1, 2024, the BRICS comes out with their new currency. We know that happens in 2024. The rest of it is just a guess. It's a good guess, but it's just a guess. But my question is how far, how many of these things start in 2024? Does it go all the way down to here? I don't think so. I'm almost for certain. But it could be, you know, maybe here, maybe here. I don't know. I don't know, but that's what we are. We're watchmen. We're watching. And as this stuff starts coming to pass, we're going to try to warn as many people as possible. And yes, we could still use your financial gifts at Prophecy Club. So if God is blessed you and you could help us, now would be a really good time. Now, what are the difference in these three loaves of bread? What's the difference? And I'm not trying to beat up on these other two competitors, okay? This is just your normal bread. This one here claims to be whole wheat bread. I do not believe it can be really whole wheat bread because whole wheat bread goes bad in 7 to 10 days. You can't put it into the store unless you put some kind of preservative in it. But what's the difference between these three? Here's the answer. This one, this loaf of bread that I made, this one will last for 25 years. What? No, no, I'm not talking about in the loaf itself. This is what I'm talking about. When you order from Joseph Kitchen, which is the company that I helped start, it doesn't come in a paper bag that breaks, that mice can eat, that moisture ruins. Instead, it comes in a seven-gallon pail that is nitrogen-infused. Now, we cannot guarantee that it's going to last 25 years plus, but... I've got several emails from people say, oh, yeah, yeah, it will. Okay, in other words, the difference between these and this one is this one arrives in a pail like this that you don't have to refrigerate it. You can stuck, stick it over in your garage. I don't recommend you put it up in a hot attic, but, you know, some kind of climate con reasonable climate-controlled area, and it's good for 25 years. You pull that out, you can still make yourself bread. Now, in order to do that, there's a couple of things you need. One is you need a machine package. In other words, this, these are the things that you need to make the bread. One is you need a grinder. This is where you take the berries, you put it inside, push a button, 30 seconds later you have flour. 
Next, you need a bread machine, unless you want to make it by hand, and I don't. Bread machine needs it, lets it rise, it bakes it, all at the push of a button. Then, when you pull it out, it also includes a slicer and a knife, even. Even the beakers, everything you need to make the wheat. As a result of that, you get one of these. You get a nice loaf of bread, and this is one that I actually baked. Next thing you have to decide is how much food you want. And I hope you're not clicking away. This is important. Look, when you're starving, you're going to wish you to watch this. Most of the emergency, long-term storage people out there, most of them cost anywhere from nine to $10,000 for one year for one person. Let me say it again. Nine to $10,000 one person one year. Let me say it again. Nine to $10,000 per person per year at Joseph Kitchen. They can show you how to do it for in the ballpark of around a thousand dollars a person. We're not talking half price. We're talking ninety percent under the prices of all the other competitors. And this is what Joseph and the Pharaoh lived off of for seven years. The whole world lived off of wheat for seven years. So what you have to decide then: Do you want to get food for one person one year, two people one year, four people one year, six people one year? And when they send it to you, they send you everything you need. They send you the honey, the wheat, the lecithin, everything you need to make that much food for a year. You may be saying, yeah, but what happens if electricity goes off? Well, I got a solution for that. It's called a bread a solar generator, and you can get one of those too. So here's the best deal of the day. The best deal is to get the six for one. Six people one year, $3,400. That's about $600 per person a year. Not nine or $10,000, about $600 person per year for the actual food. Now, that doesn't include uh, the mechanicals, but that's the actual food. If you do go to josephkitchen.com, if you'll use the promo code Prophecy Club, it'll get you a $50 discount. Prophecy Club, $50 discount. Cornerstoneassetmetals.com is where I'll send you if you're thinking about getting gold or silver. I think everybody should have at least a fistful of, full of gold and a fistful of silver because there could be a time when you pull up to get gasoline and they might not want to take your loaf of bread, but you pull out a gold coin or a silver coin and you'll probably be able to get anything you want, even if the credit cards are down, even if the dollars are worthless. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com CornerstoneAssetMetals.com Next is, I'll send you to empshield.com. If you use the promo word prophecy, you get a $50 discount. What is that? Well, it looks like this. This is the one that goes into a car, okay? And you put the red wire to the red side of the battery. You put the black wire to the black side of the battery. And the green one attaches to the body of the car. Then you peel it off right back here. Just peel that off. Stick it inside of the, 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 the engine compartment of your car. And the whole point is when the electricity goes off or when some kind of a suitcase nuclear, or nuclear device goes off, this is supposed to be able to stop that device from destroying every computer chip in your car. Because if every computer chip is destroyed in your car these days, you couldn't possibly replace them all. Throw the car away. So, empshield.com, promo code PROPHECY. Secret door to understand Bible prophecy it will help you to understand it's not complicated, but it is deep. Because to understand Bible prophecy, well, let's put it this way. I wish I had had the book 30 years ago. It would have helped me understand Bible prophecy. It would have put so many misunderstandings that I have had through the years in place. Matter of fact, when, when I started getting these 30 revelations, because I memorized the book of Revelation, I learned a lot. <laughs> I mean, I, I learned a lot I did not know. I mean, I think I went to school with Jesus, and I don't think I'm something special. Matter of fact, I don't even think it came because I memorized the book of Revelation. I think you're something special. I think he gave the book to his end-time saints, his end-time watchmen, so that you can explain to people, so you can be a part of the great move of God, the great harvest, the thousands upon thousands of souls that are about to come to Jesus. And if you want to share in that harvest, you need to be able to explain Bible prophecy. And the Holy Spirit is not going to put up with you teaching a bunch of errors. you got to know what you got to know. And that is, you got to kick out that idea of thinking that there's going to be a pre-trib rapture. It's not going to happen. not going to happen. It's not going to happen. 
there's other things, you know, you, you got to learn. <laughs> and this is, this is the reason I think he gave the book. Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy, prophecyclub.com, prophecyclub.com.